What's good, y'all? This is Al B. Um, today, what I'm going to show you real quick is how I produce on the go. I'm going to show you guys all the things that I make sure I have with me when I'm traveling, whether I'm flying or driving, so that whenever creativity strikes me, I can still be able to, to get that out and kind of catch the vibe and catch the moment. You as producers and artists know how important that is. I'm about to be taking a trip to the beach for four or five days, and these are all the things that I'm going to take with me so that I can keep my creativity flowing even when I'm away from my home studio. So why don't you guys check it out. If you like it, be sure to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe as always so I can keep bringing y'all these videos. Check it out. All right, guys. So the first thing you have to have to be a producer on the go is, you guessed it, you got to have a PC or a Mac or whatever your uh, choice of operating system is. For me, I use the Mac when I'm on the go um, because this also doubles as my my work laptop so for me it makes sense to just go ahead and use this when I'm producing when I'm traveling with my job or what or with my family or whatever it just makes sense to go ahead and use this this is a 2015 MacBook Pro of course it's going to be up to par as far as specs go to be able to use the VSTs and all of the heavy software that I might use whether I'm editing videos or whether I'm actually editing songs or whether I'm producing songs from scratch of course this MacBook does everything I needed to do with no additional specs or no additional tweaks weeks required it just works kind of out of the box if you will and now that FL Studio 20 is available on the Mac uh, it makes so much more sense and uh, I've been using it on the Mac and, and I love it so this is my first and most important uh, object that I have to take with me when I'm producing on the go up next we have the famous Akai MPK Mini MK2 keyboard. Um, if you check some of my earlier videos, I show you guys how I program this to use with FL Studio um, and how I assign my drum pads, my knobs, and how I use the, the joystick as my pitch bin and modulation wheel. Um, and they, also I provide that template in the description of that video. So if you haven't seen it, please go check it out and you can see my full workflow for the Akai MPK Mini. I really love this this controller because it has a drum pads, it has my keyboard, and it has my knobs, and I have a lot of versatility there. I can keep my creativity going. Um, and again, if you look at that template, you'll see what I mean. I um, mean, it just really works wonders for me, and I can knock out a beat in just 15 or 20 minutes. I can have a good idea going and really kind of get my flow going, going without kind of losing the vibe, which is really important when you're producing. Um, especially on the go, you might be in a scene, you might be at a beach, you might be in a hotel room with a nice scenery. Uh, it's just important to be able to pull this out and start making your beat right away and kind of catch the moment. So this is the Akai MPK Mini MK2. All right guys, so next up, now that I have my Mac and I have my MIDI controller, I gotta have something to listen to this on that has some good audio quality and for me, that's gonna be the Sony MDR 950 B1s. There are some N ones you can get that are noise canceling. They'll run you about almost $300, depending on if you catch them on sale, about 280. I got these for, I believe, right at $100. Uh, I got them from Best Buy um, using um, an Amazon price matching deal. Uh, I'm gonna link these below as well on Amazon so you guys can go find them directly. But I really like these headphones. They're really comfortable. The pads are nice and plush. Um, I can wear them on my head for several hours and they won't they won't start bothering my ears. It has some really cool features. Uh, the main cool feature is they have a bass effect. So I can press this button and I can kind of get a bass boost, which I use when I'm more so listening. Obviously, you don't want to use that when you're actually producing because it's going to add too much color to your sound. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't buy like the Beats headphones that are so popular is because as a music producer you know that you need something with somewhat of a fat flat you need something with somewhat of a flat frequency response which you're not going to get from those uh, bows but this gives me a relatively flat frequency response when I have bass effect off um, and you know it also has a microphone on it Bluetooth enabled so I could talk um, also on this I use it for working out so this is just really great for traveling as a producer because it just has so many functions and it kind of works for all situations where I want to listen to music or where I want to take a phone call or make a phone call and again you can get these off Amazon for I think about $99 somewhere in that range I want to include a link below so you guys can get to it directly and kind of you know check it out yourself and see what you think but again these are the Sony MDR 950 B1
this case is actually a case that I bought separately um, to protect my headphones because when I'm traveling, if I have to shove it in my book bag or in my carry-on or um, in my in my luggage case, I don't want my headphones to get smashed and get turned the wrong way. So I purchased this off of Amazon for about an additional eight or nine dollars, I believe. Uh, but it's well well worth it to um, protect my investment. So I suggest you get one of these as well. Another big thing that you have to have with you as a traveling producer is a external Bluetooth speaker. Now, while I do have my Sony MDR XB950 headphones, when I'm actually producing. When I'm done, I want to listen to this and I kind of want to reference it against different speakers. It's good to have a Bluetooth enabled speaker that I can just connect to my computer and I can kind of reference my own sounds and kind of hear what my beats sound like on a commercial on a commercial style output and kind of what a lot of people would be listening to it on to really give me uh, a better point of reference. Um, and this is a JBL, I forget the exact model of it. I'll be sure to link it in the description. One thing I really like about this is you can actually plug in your headphone directly if it doesn't have Bluetooth. You also can charge it using regular USB and if you really need to, you can actually charge your phone off of this. So it actually will output you at power over the USB port as well if you need it. So once again, this is just a really multifunctional piece that I bring with me because I am on the go and you know your needs might change depending on your situation. I think it's important to have pieces that serve multiple functions so you can uh, reduce your reduce your load that you're carrying with you. And also it really gives me a lot more of a bounce, a lot more of a bass so I can really hear this and I can kind of blast it out loud if I'm by myself or on a beach or playing basketball or whatever I might be doing while I'm traveling with my, with my music. Um, this is good to have as well as the Sony headphones. All right, guys, and another item that's important, you got to have your smartphone. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, it looks like an Android. Yeah, I'm an Android guy. I'm not an iPhone guy. Um, that's just my preference for many reasons. I won't get into that. That's a whole other video. I'm sure I get some nasty comments just because I'm using an Android. But for me, uh, this is one of the must have items. And I also have FL Studio Mobile installed up here. So if I'm in an airport, if I'm riding in a long car ride, I'm traveling, I can still pull out my phone. And instead of playing games, I can actually be productive and be creative and kind of get some ideas out. And this was particular phone is a Google Pixel XL. That's right. This is the OG. I haven't got a Pixel 2 or a Pixel 3 because I just haven't had the need. Um, but that Pixel 3 is sounding real good. We'll see what happens. But this is a Pixel uh, XL made by Google, the original version. And uh, definitely got to have this with me when I'm traveling. So all these devices need some power. And you would be uh, kind of sad if you if your Bluetooth wasn't powered on or if your headphones died because you didn't have any power and if your phone died. So I have an Anker um, rechargeable battery pack that I use when I'm traveling. It has two USB ports on the bottom of it so I actually can charge my headphones and my Bluetooth um, speaker at the same time. Um, or I can charge my phone and my Bluetooth speaker or whatever two USB objects I want to charge. I can do it at the same time with this Anker. Now this thing actually holds a good bit of power. Um, I think it's rated at a thousand milliamps. I won't nerd out on you, but basically it does what it needs to do and more for me when I'm traveling. I know I can charge my Google Pixel phone two and, two and a half to three times to a completely full charge just using this battery pack. So this is real awesome. You charge it up one time and you probably won't need to recharge it again for your whole trip unless you're gone for like, you know, eight days or something like that. But if you just need something for a couple of days in case you run out of battery, this will definitely do without having to charge it again. Definitely something I recommend. I've had it for a little while now and it's, and it's still going strong. So I'm going to link this as well as everything else in the description so you guys can check it out and see for yourself if you like it and you can kind of look at the details of it there. So I've shown you guys all these gadgets and all these cool electronics, but I'm kind of still an old fashioned type of guy a little bit. I like my electronics, but you also got to have your pen and paper. If you're a producer, you might have creative ideas at any moment or any kind of creative. You never know when an idea might strike you, especially when you're traveling. It could be when you're getting on a plane, when you're going flying over a city. I think it's important to have a pen and notebook so you can quickly jot down ideas um, or you know to do's or whatever it might be. I think that you can never go wrong having a pen and a notepad. And this is just a simple black notepad with you know just blank pages, nothing special or fancy about it. Um, I can write my date in the top and circle the day of the week that it is. 
Um, and also I just kind of have like a bookmarker here that I kind of like so I don't have to keep flipping through pages but good old pen and notebook I might even be writing down some lyrics and doing some songwriting so this is key to always have on me I'm not one of those guys that likes to put my lyrics in a phone it just feels a little uh, I don't know I, I just don't like that I'd rather write down my lyrics so I have all this stuff that I just showed you but I gotta have somewhere to put it in and for me that's going to be my focus space backpack I got this from Target. I'm going to see if I can find a link on Amazon as well for the same book bag and share that with you guys. But um, I think this is an awesome backpack. It's got the kind of camel green color and the black leather, which is which is a lot of my style. Um, and it kind of really just works for me. This right here, this tufted feel, it kind of gives it a little bit more of structure. So when I'm putting all this heavy computer and MIDI keyboard and my Bluetooth speaker in it, it kind of still keeps its shape along with the leather and it has your side pocket so you can put your water bottle in and that's enough for me it also has a padded slot in the back where i can put my laptop and it's kind of got some cushion and some protection and that's really all i need in a backpack i'm not going hiking with this thing it's just to hold my stuff and be able to easily reach and store um and, and then it does that for me so there you have it <laughs> Alright guys, that was a quick video of me showing you how I produce on the go. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button so I can bring you more videos just like these. Peace out.